Hello lovely year two. Because you've been such amazing artists, today I'm going to read you a book called Art. This is art. And this is art. Art and his art. Can you tell them apart? It's very hard to see him in there. Can you spot him? I think a few of you looked a bit like this after we'd done our powder painting. I wonder if you did at home as well. When art is in play, get out of art's way. Aren't those colours beautiful? He zigs, he zags, he really gets wired. There's no stopping art when art is inspired. Look at all that painting he's done. He draws scribbles that squiggle. They look like they're moving, don't they? Dots, red, yellow, blue. What do we know about those colours? What types of colours are they? I'm sure you can all remember. Splotches with blotches. That's like when we were mixing colours. Can you see that? Looks really beautiful, doesn't it? And the curliest cue. Art stares at the paper and uses his noodle. Noodle is another word for your head or your brain. To conjure up a perfect doodle. What do you think he'll put in his doodle? And doodles need houses, trees, what else might you put in? And cool cars, a dog. A moon and a billion bright stars. Try something we've heard. A picture is worth a thousand words. What do you think his doodle is going to look like? Try and imagine it in your head now. Wow. Look at that. Can you spot all of the things that he said he was going to put in? What did he say? He said a house. A tree, a cool car, a dog, a moon, a million stars. Can you see all the colours he's put in? And when he awakes a little bit later, Art sees his art on the refrigerator. Held there by magnets. Stars and a heart. Look at all those drawings. Put there by mother. Put 
Because mother loves art.